I've been a member of the Women and Health Task Force of the network, uh, which is supported by Gates uh, for the last six years. And uh, last year, I did a project trying to improve the knowledge of women in the communities in Uganda. Uh, the background to this is that in my country we have poor health indices, reproductive health indices. Very many women die during pregnancy or during childbirth. Very many women produce very many children uh, in spite of the fact that we have family planning services available and many women uh, still suffer from sexually transmitted infections including HIV AIDS because uh, of their being less empowered and they don't many times make a decision to say no to the advances they get from men. So what I wanted to do was to go out to the communities and ask these women what they wanted to know more about in terms of their health, all ways to promote their health. And uh, I, was, I was happy that the women were able to open up and they had questions related to family planning, they had questions related to uh, sexually transmitted infections, how they could prevent themselves from getting these infections. Uh, they had questions about cancer and these the needs that they had actually reflect the the poor reproductive health indices that we find. And I and a few of my colleagues, female doctors, were able to share to talk with these women to give them the information that they would use to improve their lives. You actually developed a project to educate women and empower them through radio programming, right? Yes. Why don't you talk about that? Uh, radio programming because the radio reaches more women than the face-to-face -face, uh, uh, community talks. So we went to some of the local radio stations and they gave us some time so that the people could call in and ask us questions about any issues that they had, the women. And in addition, we were able to talk to them about the available services and also how they might use these services in order to improve their health. So the radio talks were a means of providing information to the women and we hope that this information can help these women uh, make better choices and use the medical services so in the long run to promote their health. And were some of those topics political? In other words, were you trying to encourage women to be more assertive in, in dealing with men in Uganda? <laughs> yeah, probably to, 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 make the, to make choices and also if a woman goes out to talk to the women then in a way, even if you don't tell them that do they, don't do this, they'll do it because by hearing it from a woman then they, 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 they know that it is possible and they can also do it so what we basically do is to tell these women that look here if there's any any problems there's a service that you need you have to make a decision yourself and probably you have to talk it with your husband or with the people that make the decisions so that they come out with what is best for you now you also did some one-on-one -on -one work didn't you by in the community circles Yes. Why don't you talk about that? Uh, in the community, we we talked about services that are. We went to the communities. We first mobilized, 
and we got several groups of women in the community. We got women in the childbearing age, uh, from 15 up to 50. We also got uh, sex workers who are more vulnerable to infections and also to other risks. And we also got women who are a bit older, whose problems are a bit different. And with these women, we basically ask them what they wanted. What but you would meet with them in the community, in, in a the group. Community. You would create a group, right? A support group? Yes. Talk to them, meet them, and also train them so that they can go and talk to the other people. So they became trainers, trainers. to then multiply this to start other groups. Mm -hmm. okay. And the students also learn this technique. Yes, the students also learn this technique. Okay. Uh, because even uh, as much as we went to the students, we also went to the students, to the women in the communities, we also talked to the students at the faculty, especially the female students. Oh, so this was actually a problem in the medical school with the students who were medical students? Yes, the medical students also have the same problem. Even though they're well educated? Even and if they're well educated. And the questions we got from the women in the community were almost similar to the questions that the students were asking, asking us. Uh, so in a way this tells us that even if the students are able to get an education, they also need the support and they need the mentoring of people like us who are older, who have gone through the phase they are going through, and this was possible.